Good morning, everyone. It's Amber here um, to read another chapter of Who is Ruth Bader Ginsburg? And I'm hoping to get this done by the end of the year since um, she passed away this year and it's, you know, 2020, COVID, all kinds of weird stuff. So, yeah, I would like to get this book done and then start a new one later. Hopefully, I could start a new one at the end of this year, or I'll have to start a new one in the beginning of next year. All right, so here we go. Oh, and yes, and this is the beautiful Christmas tree for this year. I'd like to see what you guys have. If you guys have a Christmas tree or what kind of decorations you got, that'd be awesome. All right, chapter two, a terrible secret. What secret is good? I don't know. Anybody know? By the time Ruth got to high school, it was clear she'd always be small. She never grew past five feet tall or weighed more than a hundred pounds. Yet Ruth aimed big. That was clear when she chose to play one of the largest instruments in high school, orchestra, the cello. James Madison High School was an enormous red brick schoolhouse five stories high. Even among her 800 classmates, Ruth stood out. She was soon earning straight A's. You would think she would have been super confident, but she worried over every test. As for team sports, Ruth couldn't play any because there weren't any teams for girls. Even cheerleaders at Madison High were boys. So after learning to twirl a baton, Ruth joined the Go-Getters Pep Club. On football game nights, she and other Go-Getters cheered and twirled for their school team. I guess I didn't realize that boys were cheerleaders too. I mean, like, I know there's boys in cheerleaders, what cheerleaders and stuff, but I never thought it would just be all boys. That's kind of interesting. What do you think? Title five. Four. Title four. If I could actually, you know, read Roman numerals, that'd be great. Before 1972, public schools were not required to have sports for girls. Then Title four was passed. In Roman numerals, IX stands for, oh, sorry, nine. I was totally wrong. <laughs> Title nine. Oh, yeah, because V is five. X is ten. Wow. He bad. <laughs> can laugh at me. It's okay. From then on, any education program that got money from the government had to provide equal sports opportunities for girls. Before Title IX, only one out of every 27 girls competed in sports. Today, two girls out of every five take part. There's Title IX. Sorry, I think my allergies are just woof lately. Ruth also found time to edit the school newspaper and date boys. Outwardly, she appeared to have not to not have a care in the world, but she was holding in a big secret. Her mother had cancer. Ruth never told a soul, not even her closest friends. She didn't want anyone feeling sorry for her. Cecilia had many operations and was in the hospital for weeks at a time. At home between surgeries, Cecilia was usually bedridden. Every night, Ruth sat by her, sat beside her, and did homework. Aww. She was there for her mom. That's so sweet. She knew it comforted her mother to see her studying. In 1950, the spring of her senior year, Ruth was asked to give a speech at her graduation ceremony. Ruth, however, never went to graduation. Her beloved mother died the day before. Losing her mother was a terrible blow. Ruth felt devastated. She had to push herself forward the way Cecilia would have wanted her to, to do. College, her mother's dream for her, lay just three months ahead. Ruth would be going to Cornell University. It was the same college that her uncle had attended with Cecilia's help. To Ruth's surprise, Cecilia helped pay for her to go to college too. Over the years, Cecilia had somehow squirreled away $8,000 for Ruth's college fund. The family discovered the nest egg after Cecilia's death. It was a huge sum. 
Cecilia had been one strong, determined woman. She had raised her daughter to be the same way. See, there's the little envelope with money. How cool. All right, so that was chapter two. And I will return for chapter three, and I hope you all have a great day. See you later.